Well, first of all, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me. My pleasure. Um, would you like to perhaps begin with introducing yourself and uh, tell us a little bit about your role in Shock? Yeah, thank you. So my name is Ricarda Brauchmann. I work at DANS, which is a national data repository and expertise center in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. And we are part of Shock, um, involved in various tasks, but my role was especially in the uh, work package 6, which is on building training communities. All right then. Uh, now, what um, what training resources have you developed as uh, part of Shock, and uh, what was your what was your reasoning behind it? What was thought? Yeah, so Shock has done a lot of training and outreach, and there have been a lot of materials. And one of the things that we wanted to do with this project is actually make sure that people can find materials and reuse materials and trainings. So for that, we have developed the SSH Training Discovery Toolkit, which is a website where people can go to and find a lot of different resources. Uh, from various parties in shock, so uh, the Eric's, but also other partners, and we have um, example materials there that um, people can reuse who want to develop their own trainings. So it's a variety of resources, more than 250 items are there on various topics, so including didactics, but also um, more topics like linguistics, text mining, Python, all kinds of things really related to open science and research data management. Now, uh, these resources, as well as uh, most of the others developed uh, through Shock, will of course be hosted in the new upcoming Shock website. Uh, looking at now and looking also at the future, what sort of added value do you see in, uh, in these tools? How, how would you just summarize that added value now and moving forward? Yeah, so the Training Discovery Toolkit um, has a lot of materials and we hope that that will be available in the future as well. So one of the things that we, are, uh, we have been doing is ensuring that the TDT, the Training Discovery Toolkit, will be part of the Shock Marketplace as well. And we've also had discussions with follow-up projects within the EOSC, such as EOSC Future, who are also interested in making these resources more available. So that way people in the future can also find, find these resources. And do you, would you think you have a, a top tip that you would give researchers in the SSH when it comes to training uh, with all your experience? Yeah, so one of the things that we also developed in the Shock project is the uh, trainers directory, which is uh, a place where people can find um, individuals that have certain expertise and training, and anybody who is interested in uh, finding a trainer for a particular training could go to this directory and s search for experts on particular topics. So that will be my advice to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, next to, of course, checking out the Training Discovery Toolkit. All right then. Thank you very much for your contribution and uh, enjoy the rest of the conference. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. My pleasure.